What's up everybody? Welcome back. It's been a little while, but today we are with Derek. She's from New York. <laughs> I can't do the proper accent, but I can't even pronounce this girl's name. Try it again. Dara Diaz. Dara. No, Dara. Dara. That's what I said. Dara. You're saying Dara. Dara, 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 Dara. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's um, all the way from New York. She's here to see her trainer, which is right over here. Hey, how you doing? His name is Adam. See, Adam, like a normal name. <laughs> <laughs> Dara, show yes. us what you got. I have a couple of options, whether we want to go more like silky pants. You have different sports bras, but I kept them neutral. Clearly my heart, whole wardrobe is practically black. Anyways, crop tops, cute tops, shorts. Well, they're underwear, but they make them look like shorts. And yeah, just simple things. Awesome. So we're looking for two to three looks. I'm not a big fan of the frilly. I want to say let's do one long sleeve because okay. I don't want to cover up your arms for too many looks. Between these two shorts here, which one fit the best? That one. All right, so we can put that one away. So typically, if you have a smaller bottom, you want a bigger top. Or if you have a smaller top, you want a bigger bottom. So if you were wearing a sports bra, uh -huh. then I would normally go with the leggings. This outfit, this outfit, and this outfit. I like it. Right? First set is normally a warm up. So least favorite, you'll still get a couple of decent shots from there. Right but the majority will be in what you love the most. Number one, two, and then number three. Perfect. All right, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna see if she's gonna follow directions. Oh God, right. So I'm gonna have her take her stuff, we're gonna walk downstairs, but I'm gonna have her hold the camera for a few minutes and then give you the new photographer who wants to start shooting fitness. A few tips from a model who, uh, who has shot, you said 10 times? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, she shoots a lot. She says she's good, let's see. I'll let y'all decide. If you think she's good, leave a thumbs up. If you think she sucks, leave a thumbs down on her page. <laughs> yeah, when the link's off. <laughs> That's a deal, right? That's a good deal. All I'll right. take it, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll start packing up. Four tips. Four mm. tips. Yeah. You okay. get four tips? I think I can get four. She's so gonna give you five tips. <laughs> Six tips. Yeah, seven. <laughs> she, gonna, she might give you like two. Photographers, we want to have a real life model give you a few tips on what you can do to be a better. No, let's go first time photographer. All right, she's going to take over. We're going down, heading out, guys. All right, so I actually do have a really important tip. Um, make the model feel extremely comfortable, and they will actually gain a lot of respect for you if, like, they have any, you know slippage or anything like that while they're shooting. Um, it's actually better than, you know, them looking into the mirror and then feeling uncomfortable because then they're gonna actually, you know, be held back more to doing the shoot when they know this entire time that you've been, like, looking at it and you know that it's clearly out. Like, of course you can edit it, but like, it just makes the model feel a lot more comfortable. So just, you know, explain that to them. Show that you're experienced. So with lighting, talk about it. Like give an example why like you would be doing this or not. Like, or if someone had a ponytail on their wrist, like that's huge. There shouldn't be not putting out a picture what you have a ponytail on your wrist when you're trying to look professional and now all of a sudden you have all these photos and then you get them back and you're like, wow, I wish I didn't have that ponytail on. So now it looks like you know what you're doing by letting the model know, hey, don't you know wear a ponytail while you're shooting. Um, another thing is have like a changing room or some area where they can change, they can feel comfortable as well too, because there's a lot of horror stories out there of just you know everyone taking advantage and looking while someone is changing, and that is not appropriate at all, um, especially if the model is here by themselves and not with someone with uh, as well. No the angles that you're working with. There are some that just do not work with certain models and it's not fair for them to go through all this work and you as well for them to not feel comfortable to even be posting these pictures. So honestly, in the end, it has everything to do with showing that you are experienced and making the model feel comfortable. So those are my tips. I think I have four. Four. Tip number five. Hold on. Is she I'm doing, doing good? well. They're all pressing the, no, the no. thumbs up right I'm now. I'm talking to them. I'm not yeah. talking to you. But they're all putting the thumbs up right now. Hold on. Let me check. No, dude, that's only one. That's you only one. <laughs> all right. So if she's doing good, hook it up. Absolutely. Give a big thumbs up. 
Big thumbs Again. up because I don't want a thumbs down on my page. Yeah, she's sucking. <laughs> Her page. Oh, I have another one that I can think of. Oh, you got one more? I think, yeah. How many did you do already? Four? Four. You have four? Four. All right, well, let me get this set up. When I get back, she would have given you three more. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep talking. Uh, another thing is, is kind of have a idea of what your model wants done before going into the shoot. So have your location set and then ask them, like, you know, uh, were you trying to look for more of a fit glam? Were you looking for more like a lingerie type of style? This is very important because now it allows the model to know what kind of outfits to be going for. Another thing, which is so huge, and this is coming from me because I am a makeup artist, please at least refer someone that is qualified and professional in what they do. Uh, a lot of people may think that they can just do this stuff on their own, but in the end, this is a product of both of you. It's the model and the photographer. So if you do not have really good makeup or really good hair, now all this hard work, it may not even want to be put out there. So let's try to prevent that. <laughs> Figure out the time of the day and the style that they want. Ask if they have any inspiration that especially comes from your page because if they do, then obviously they really like your style and you'll have a better sense of what they were going for. If they want more grungy or if they want light and bright, if they want vintage, this is all all factored in. So it may not seem like there's a lot that goes into photo shoots, but there is a lot of things. Um, I still have to do one more. He's coming back. I need one more. I need one more. Wait, don't come back yet. <laughs> All right, what's, oh, seven, make the experience fun. Or it's just gonna be uncomfortable for That's all a tip. of you. That's a tip. No. I just gave really good ones. Just wait till you go back and listen to this. You're gonna be like, wow. Right, what she, she knows say? what she's talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. She did does. She talk about um, communicating about breathing. No. Why would you do that? Because it's a fitness channel. It's the a fitness breathe? For the oh, of the abs. Is yeah. that like the abs show? Yeah. Or, that or, is true. What have you been talking about? Uh, making the model feel comfortable. No, making sure that, that there's no, no ponytails on your wrist. Oh, well, that's a good one. Making sure that, you know, that there's good hair and makeup done because that will make the photo look worse. That's a good one. That's number two. <laughs> what else? Um, tell the model if there's any slippage because it makes the model feel a lot more comfortable than in the end looking in the mirror and noticing that, you know, something popped out this entire time. See if there's a spot for a changing room. These are Don't big have things. a video camera in the, in the changing room. room. Did at you all. Say that too? I I feel like I ha I shouldn't have to say it, but I guess that's why we're saying this right now because it happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. It happens. Yeah. But I I gave anywhere between six and nine, depending on if you want to break some up in half. How do you get between six and nine? That's like a wide range. Exactly. Because <laughs> it's like I can have five, but that five can have another part, so we'll make that one six, and then the next one will be seven. I can see all those dislike thumb buttons. No! I can see all the dislikes going down right now. <laughs> on her page, remember, on her page. Yeah. Oh, um, I know. Have oil, just in case if the model doesn't bring it. Why are you looking at me? I think we need to look at each other. We, we've got a better model right over there. He brought oil. Andrew, come on in here. <laughs> Andrew, show the abs, Andrew. Oh, jeez. You should want to. Do it the girl way. <laughs> we look down at your ass. We gotta It's a thing. It everyone, makes fun, oh, everyone makes fun of that. They're like, why do you have to lift up your boobs? Well, because you gotta see them. <laughs> gotta see the abs on <laughs> Lift up your boobs. Put them on. <laughs> it helps. All right, so we are at the Contest Prep Center, courtesy of Adam Bonilla, who is the man behind Team Elite Physique. And oh, so yeah. Dara is one of the elite athletes of said team. Does that sound proper? Said team. Said team. Yeah. Said team. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, that's how like smart folk talk. Mm -hmm. They're not used to that because I don't use that kind of language. I'm I'm kind of like ghetto when I. Me when too. I so she has some nice muscles, and so to make them pop, we're gonna have her do a little bit of a warm up just to get the blood pumping in the shoulders. But the thing is, you don't want them to do a full lift because if they burn themselves out, they're not gonna be able to to hold it. Correct. Yeah. What side do you part your hair on? On the your right side? Um, I actually my hair can part either way. All right. Well, she's pumping up. What I asked her was, I looked to see what side her hair was parted on. Um, that's going to determine what side the light goes on. And then I also asked her what side was her favorite. She's right-handed, 
but her left side is her fable side. Yes. Right? So what that means is we're gonna actually do her a favor and showcase her left arm. Her triceps look pretty decent. Her shoulders look pretty strong. Her core is all right. Talk a lot of shit to the mod, I guarantee they'll work harder. <laughs> Don't over compliment them, because if you are, like That's the kind- That's actually absolutely true. <laughs> Tell mm -hmm. me I look horrible. Yeah. I'll work harder. This is true. Because check it out. We'll do some role playing. Ready? Oh my God. You look amazing. Wow, I've never shot anyone that looks as amazing as you. You must model a lot. You're gorgeous. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't like talking nice things to people. If you keep doing that stuff, they're gonna one, get tired of it eventually because there's a, kind of a line that you're crossing. Once you cross the line with too many compliments, then you make it a little bit too personal and shoots are not a personal thing. Keep it professional and then they will um, give you all their money. <laughs> Business team. <laughs> all right, John, first position is gonna be the key light. We're gonna use a single light on the front side. So it's gonna be front lit. We're gonna show you what the shot looks like. There you go, just like that. Yeah, already. Some easy shots with the single light. Honestly, that first light setup is super, super boring. I don't like it, but at least it's even coverage on the face. But to me, single light in this setting is boring. Big thing is to make sure you focus on the core, but now we're gonna change the lighting up a little bit to make it a little bit better. Back in the position. What we did was we created a second light because I'm using the main light to go into the mirror, it's reflecting, and it's gonna add a little bit of a fill slash edge light on the non-light side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sense? yeah. All right, so I like that one, but I still like lighting, so I'm gonna add in the second light to make the shot even much, much more better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Recapping. All right, so, so no slippage. <laughs> no slippage. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I showed you a single light. Not a big fan. Single light's all right, but to me, it's just, it's, uh, it's boring. We did make the single light look like a two light setup by facing the light into the mirror, which made it look better. But then adding that second light for edge lighting. I don't like to do a lot of direct lighting because it just makes it look flat. When you're trying to showcase muscles, um, she's got abs. So if you have a light straight onto it, it's gonna flatten them out. If you have a light that's either above going down or from the side going across, then the app's gonna pop a lot, lot much more. Mm-hmm. Dara. 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 <laughs> All right, tip number seven, which is also tip number two, and tip number three. Don't over compliment the models. Keep it real, keep it hundo, like all the young kids. Are you do you say that? Keep it hundo? No, I don't. You don't? No. Is it not cool? Keep it hundo. Hundo. That's what I said, right? Hundo. hundo. It's the same like thing. Hundo is not an old person thing. Keep it hundo. Hundo, right? All right, so Dara is gonna go change her clothes. We're gonna go into a different set. We've got some good shots here. Um, I told her earlier that the first set is normally my least favorite set. It's a warm up. She moves really well. But I'm not going to tell her that to her face because then she'll think that she knows what she's doing. You got to keep it real. Keep it honey. I do know what I'm doing. Okay, y'all. Now we're going to go back to Dara's second set. I'm going to use this area right here. But this area is going to give us a little bit of a challenge because behind her, there's a mirror. And so if you're using lights on your side and you can see the light in the reflection, then that means that your picture will also have that light in the reflection. Ready? Okay. All right, so that right knee right now is pointing towards me. You're going to out this foot or pinch it in. Here that goes. Okay. All right, y'all, home stretch. One more set. Here we go. Look, Trace. Do you know? Trace up. Yeah. Let's see if you still got it. Mm -hmm. All right, that look is good. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Well, I normally tell you don't over compliment the models, but when they do a great job, only when you're done, and as long as you really did a good job, 
You can feel it as you do it. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm not saying it's today, but I'm just saying it's okay <laughs> to tell them you did, they did okay. No, she crushed it. Be sure to check out her Instagram. She's um, she's not very good at, at replying to comments. <laughs> that is true. Mm -hmm. I'm getting better at it, I promise. She need to get better. Yes. She's gonna be doing some big things this year. So keep an eye out on her. Yeah. Yay. And um, if you find yourself in the... Oh, dang. Oh, what? That's me, it looks really short. I like it. All right, y'all. We'll see you next video. Until then, 